Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. Today we'll be focusing on annotation dimensions. Here we see a part with several annotations set up in 3D. To make another one, remember I can select dimension, select the plane I'd like to dimension on, and then select the geometry I'd like to add the dimension to. Here I'm dimensioning the inner cylinder. Now to make the viewing a little bit easier, I'm going to select on the plane and go into a section mode. Here we can see all of the cuts through the geometry. Now we all know that I can select on the geometry with pull and change it. But here we can see that there's now sparks next to all of the dimensions. Now I can modify the geometry one way or the next or click on one of the sparks and edit that dimension. So change that to 15 and we can see the geometry and dimensions updated. Also notice that I try to change a dimension not associated with that face or edge, nothing happens. And we see an error appear in the bottom right corner. Now we can also use move to do this. So I've selected geometry but no sparks have appeared. That's because I need to specify a direction and then make the change. So I've selected the green arrow and then change that to 15. Let's also look at the right hand side of our screen a little bit closer. I'm going to go back into pull and select on multiple faces. Control selecting on these here. Now I can edit this dimension We'll change this to 7, but also, once that's selected, I can go into our Groups panel and create a group there. And that will automatically use that dimension as a driving dimension and allow me to edit it right in our Groups panel. So another thing we could do is use Move to do that same thing. Select on the geometry, select the direction, and then select which spark we'd like to edit. Now we can just select create groups and that'll be added. And these can be used to help drive analysis packages. So that concludes our demonstration on annotation dimensions. Hope you can use them in your space claim modeling. Thank you for watching.